I think that's enough time. Oh, the knob of my microphone got turned off. <clears throat> uh, why is my desk so cluttered? There we go. What's up, everyone? We're gonna be continue playing for subnet. Uh, let me pause this. So, I thought it would be fun if I started using the manage prediction setting on uh, Twitch. So, let's try... Uh, let's see... Make it like a half an hour poll? Yo, what's up, Red Bear? Uh, it won't let me make it. What do you mean? Come on. It was working before stream. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, what's up, Render? I hope you're doing well. Hugs to you, too. Uh, let's see. What were we doing last time i think we had we get like a new ship or something to to find uh, we found this one i don't think we have any more um shit i probably should have made a note on what i was focusing on i know i made Seapron, I think I made both the arm attachments. Right. Uh, yeah, that's drill and grapple. Um, I think I gave both the Seapron and our SS Melon 2 whole reinforcement. Um, God, what? We were doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, last time. Um,. Right, I th think what we wanted to do was make a suit, right? Um, I think I already have the Ultra Glide fins on right now, right? Okay, so what do... Oh, I mean, that's cool, but I... I think I'll stick with the Ultra Glide fin. Uh, we wanted... Reinforced dive suits. So we need to learn how to make synthetic fibers. Uh, does the... Do we even know? I don't... Oh, yeah. Uh, we need fiber meth and benzene. Um, do we have benzene still? Or... Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, wait, no, we do. Benzene. Uh, fiber... Um, two titanium. Oh, we are magically out of titanium. Awesome. For the once, uh, we find just like giant titanium like thing. I could just take the prawn suit to that. And we also need two diamonds, which I think we have plenty of diamonds, right? No, we are fresh out. Okay. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Wait, why is... Oh, that's a quartz. Man, I really should have, like, played after the last time. I, I know I said I was going to. I didn't. Um...
Try this. Sorry, I'm trying to get this this prediction things to work. I see other people doing it, and it seems really fun. Yeah, it just keeps giving me an error. Oh well, I guess I'll work on that next time. I was going to start doing things like, uh, while I drown within the hour, stuff like that. I feel like that would be fun. Oh wow, I didn't even need this. Yeah, I meant to uh, play more of this, but uh, something really cool happened. Uh, it was after... I played, I just wanted to kind of chill out and play some Baldur's Gate, so I was just, you know, I picked up my old save, uh, not my old save, a new save. I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll work on this, I'll, I'll, I'll do the grind, I'll do what I need to do to get back to where I was, and I was trying to show off a piece of armor to uh, Dylan, and it turns out I, uh... Wait, why is it not protecting shale? We're gonna need to go. Crabs. Okay. Well, I know where shale is. I just need to. May as well take the actual sub. But yeah, I wanted to show Dylan uh, a chess piece I was wearing for basically the whole story, uh, where anytime you went to go do any kind of like sneaky lock picking or pickpocketing, you always got to roll two dice. And with all the modifiers I had on my character, like I was always like getting every like dis disarm and uh, lock pick thing like first try. And I just went to go load up a save that I think was a little further than like the actual last save I remember working. And yeah, just my uh my old save now just works. So now I can finally play uh that where I left off. That's magnetite. It took me a minute to get readjusted and like re remember what I was doing and whatnot. But yeah. The only downside is apparently now there's a new bug where every time you take a person out of your party, it just throws their supply bag, alchemy bag, and like whatever into your inventory. So I constantly have to, con like every time I'm switching out a party member, I have to like pickpocket them back of their stuff. Which it's mildly annoying, but I'll take it over my save being completely bricked at 80 hours in. So now I'm debating on what I should do for my next playthrough, since I don't need to... I don't really need to start over as an orc anymore. I found a mod that lets you just... just adds a shit ton of races to the game from D&D uh, &D and from like other games as well, like if I really wanted to. I could be like a Rokadin from Final Fantasy XIV, though like, I don't really see a point. It would be kind of cool, because then I could just, like, try and make my character exactly like I have him in, uh, FF14. But the issue is I would still need to figure out a way to put horns on him. Yeah, I'm thinking next playthrough I want to be, like, a kobold or something. Um, I know that the person who's making the, I think it's called like a multiverse mod or something. Oh god. 
game, please? Are we always going to go through this, like, you want to struggle even though you should be running fine thing? Alright, fine. Fine. Yeah, that wasn't enough. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking of Gold. I think the multiverse thing is adding a race called a Kenku, which if you don't know much about D&D &D or what a Kenku is, it's basically a giant bird, but they can't speak. They can only replicate sounds they've heard. So I think that would be a really cool thing to play. And I found out last night there's like a special... Wait, are you wearing your radiation helmet still? Uh, yes, because I never made a rebreather. <laughs> I, that's, okay, that's something we need to fix when we get back to base, too. Okay, thank you for bringing that to my attention, because I honestly completely forgot. Um, we have the diamonds, we have the tight... We, we can go back. Honestly, remember, it's it's been really nice having you in streams, just because you're, like, reminding me to actually, like, do things, like, I don't know, breathe air? <laughs> like... Um... Uh, like, went the right way? Also, you're just fun to have around. I like having you around, Ren Bear. Yeah. Let's. Did I turn the music off last time I played? Because it's fucking quiet. I did. Like, any music would be fine. Well, game. If you won't supply it, I will. I'm just having this on until music actually starts kicking in in the game. Also, I'm glad you've been having fun, because I also have been having fun. I'm glad people are having fun. I love that Below Zero has jukeboxes and fan-produced music in it. I I need to, like, check out Below Zero. I have not even, li like, I know the game exists, but I did not, I, like, I haven't played it at all. I think I own it. Reinforced suit. Maybe this will help us uh, get those scans of those giant monsters that constantly keep eating my life. Oh. I didn't even realize gloves were a thing we had. So, I doubt we'll ever need it, but I'll put it in there for now. Um, oh yeah, rebreather. Firing kit, fiber mesh. Done, and, oh wait. Fun, oh yeah. It's me, the Gabagool. Well, hi Gabagool. Still no music in game. Maybe it's still too low. Yeah, it was way too quiet. Well, let's turn that up even more, I guess. Very quiet. 
Wasn't the helmet you put away a rebreather? Yes. Wait. Did I make another rebreather? Oh my god, I... I think I just had a moment. <laughs> okay, well, goodbye. I am a very, very, very smart person, as you can see. Wait, no, yeah. Oh yeah, Lithium goes in here. I'm kind of sad I couldn't put the blue hat on top of the stuffed animal. Okay, we have the rebreather. We have the new suit. So that's good. That's off to a good start. Look at all, please. I should probably make this. It probably would help to have the Pathfinder tool. Um, I want to find the last part of the Cyclops. So what I'm thinking is maybe... Okay, so I have... Hmm. So we can either go behind the Aurora and try to find where we were... Like, where we were originally getting the Cyclops parts, and like try to find something there, like slap down a, uh, what are they called? A scan room? I think you used Pathfinder once, once in the giant central mushroom tree, and once in the lava caves. Giant central mushroom tree. I, I think it would help, especially if I, like, you know, like those uh, locations that I've been going to where I get very easily disoriented and drowned because I don't know where I'm going. Um, I don't know if we'll need it today. But I think what I'm going to do... Let's undock to this. Oh. Undock it. No. Oh. I really just need to make a second moon pool. Honestly, I should... You know what? Now that I have... Like, let's let the ship charge to full. And while it does that... I think I'm going to... I need titanium. I forgot. I am sorely lacking on it. one of the three cuttlefish eggs in the tree. Oh, right. I don't know if you were there when we found the time capsule, Ren Bear. But, uh... We found a time capsule with this egg in it that looks strangely dolphin-like. So I'm guessing that's probably what you were talking about, right? So we need to make the, like, incubation chamber, or, like, the big, the really big tank, I think, which I don't think I have the recipe for yet. Big aquarium. Alien containment, I think, but I ch uh, but check your recipes. 
Uh, that'd be like down here. I have the regular aquarium. Yeah, I still need to find it. This morning, I saw it. I might have saw it. I'm not sure if I grabbed it. Also, I. Hmm. I think I actually need to finish building the pipe first. Snake, what's up? Welcome in. Hope your week's been good. Or at least tolerable, at least. Ooh. Really no, like, limestone chunks anywhere? scan for some, I guess. Oh, now you want to look for heat area, like all those other I mean, limestone. I guess we'll go shove a bunch of berries or whatever the fruits are considered in this game down my gullet. Just got out of men's grooming salon? Oh! That sounds nice. Okay. Oh, all right, starting to pick up on some limestone chunks. We're gonna need a lot of Titanite. Did I say tit Titanite? I meant Titanium. Titanite is a completely different material from a completely different game. Rose wanted to find a blacksmith to upgrade his heated blade. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Though, there originally was a third level of knife in this game, but they ended up removing it, I think, because it was, like, too strong. There we go. So we need two titanium ingot. Uh, I think we have that. A lubricant and lead. Uh, we'll have to go make some more lubricant, but we do have the rest of it. Alien containment is a craft bowl that slots in a specific spot in the room and feels like a... specific spot in the room is like the water purifier thing. I don't think I've made a room big enough that has that. Is that like exclusive to the big room blueprint? Well, hi, Andy! Oh, there it is. I still need the ingredients. 
Did you win the- I'm- I was trying to get the predictions to work on, a uh, Twitch, but, like, they're not- It keeps telling me there's an error every time I try to make one. Plus, in the center of the multi-purpose room? Ah. Well, I would need to find the ingredients. Which, I'm not sure where I would find them. What was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, nope. Oh, I need a lot of titanium. Oof. Uh, I was trying to get, like, will I forget to breathe or, like, uh, will I forget O2 in, like, half an hour kind of thing. Uh, lubricant and lead. Like, I don't know if it's the phrasing I was using. I tried to even keep it away from, like, using the terms breathing, suffocating, or whatever. That shows the bulb zone. Wreck. Mountain wreck. No idea what that is. Underwater island wreck. The bulb zone. Mountain wreck just sounds like a wreck that probably be, like, on one of the islands doing oh yeah lead and we need yeah we're gonna need a lot of this limestone thank you thank you andy Yeah, the underwater island doesn't sound familiar. So I'm trying to think of, like, where exactly do we go next? Like, we've been to the... The floating ball area. And I think the next would be, like, what, the underwater fire area? I know I kind of want to go see the, the, the sea shutter place that you kept talking about. That, that, I, I, since it's, like, optional, may as well, like, go and check it out. I think you said we were close to there, but I, I ran away due to the ghost leviathan and all the crabs. Underwater islands are floating islands that are all still submerged. The huge wreck that straddles two of the islands. So, if I go to one of the islands, I guess I'll end up seeing one of the wrecks? Right? You should be able to see it, but you might need to follow the chain of the, uh, of islands a bit. Wait, there's a chain of islands? I thought there was only the two. Uh, it's huge. It's just a matter of visibility. Okay. Would that be on, like, the, m the island with the... Uh... The lab, or the one where the people shipwrecked? Not like I remember where either are. Um, probably, if I surface in the water, will it show me a map? Oh wait, no. I installed the map after we went to the islands, so they won't even show, even if we did. Oh! So, is there, like, a biome or something I should be looking out for, for the underwater? Completely submerged. How much do I have? Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight.
Nein. Five dollar map, hang on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I should be looking this up myself, but... I don't want there to just be minutes where I'm just sitting there, stare, oh, like, not touching the game, looking at things. It'd be cool if, you know, I could get a, uh, a life signal or whatever, a distress call. That'd point me in the direction of where I should be going. Let me check, do we, we've gotten all the, like, the, uh, is it data downloads? No. Where is codes and clues? I th think we found this one on accident. We found either th six or seven on accident. On water islands directly north of the center spawn point. Okay, so head to our our little boat. Our little lifeboat and then go directly north sounds good thank you i need to go look for lubricant anyway so all systems online all right i can use uh i could I just like scan for shipwreck parks that would have been way better oh my god Need like two of you. Okay. Oh, we only needed one creep vine. Hi, Yuki. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Dock the prawn suit. Um, yeah, we ended up making the new reinforced diving suit. Uh, prawn suit's ready to go for whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go change the battery of my Sea Glide. And let's see, do we need any? Oh, yeah, we should probably put all this stuff away. Don't need. We, we, I mean, we don't need the copper now, but it will definitely come in handy later. I'll put the silver here, and then let's pull lubricant over here for now. Uh, make sure we bring some water, along with, you know, a couple of these. Grab another one of this. Um, yeah. Let's cancel this for now. Anything Albert gone look for? Metal salvage. Oh, 
Oh wait, did I remember? Is it still in here? Okay, yeah, 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 we're, we got everything. If you're like me, you'll forget uh, one thing. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I always do. north of central spawn. Well, I'm gonna guess that's from our boat. And we need to go this way. Um, actually, all right, before we make the start, I'm gonna go refill my water bottle, so I'll be back real quick. Sorry about that. What about the music stop? I know my headset died. Uh, let me reset that real quick. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh my god, that emote's really cute. I've been playing a lot more of VR chat lately. I mean, like, I played it, like, maybe three or four times in the last couple weeks. Uh, I really keep telling myself I need to sit down and find, like, a queue of worlds that are really fun or interesting to do, maybe do a VR stream again. Because that was really fun. I know, I didn't pause the music, but also, like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of fitting. You have to, uh... It's slightly to the west. Okay. I feel like the last VR stream was very interesting. Um, even though we did what? We played Until You Fall and uh, I think VR Chat. VR Chat, we did a horror game. Uh, a little tedious near the end, mainly because uh, the mechanics were weird. Oh, yeah, these things. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let 
Could you not? Like, I'm glad you're not attacking me, but could you not fuck up my Seamoth? Um, I feel like... No. We need to go the other side. We should probably take out this and this. And then, instead of having the repair tool... Or no. We'll put the repair tool on the last button. Daddy Melon plays Dying to Forget to Breathe. I'm making sure I'm ready to fight. Yeah, I'm probably going to get lost in here. Fuck with my shit. I will try my best to not forget like forget to breathe wait words oh hi oh there was a lot more of you caught in that than i thought I have, I have Bikubot open. Did Gamamon speak at all? Actually, I think I could just testify this. Uh, points. This is a test. Uh, this is a test. Why don't I hear it? Oh, well. that's going to be a fun thing to worry about later. That'll probably fix itself by the end of stream. Actually, wait. I think the better thing would be to test out. Have you heard about the hit game Among Us? Ah. Yeah, I think what happened is since I, I left with my headset, it disconnected from the computer, and then, uh, like, now, uh, Discord is, like, trying to connect to a different headset or something, which is really annoying. Okay, so now if I, like, go over here. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I remember how to fix that uh, from last time. That was actually an issue we had to fix uh, not too long ago. I'm not self-scanning. All right, 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 we need this. I'm glad of uh, all the things I could have forget, forgotten. I didn't forget the uh, the laser cutter. I feel like that'd be very me to forget. It's like the most important thing we need, or at least one of them. Propulsion arm. Yeah, that's new. So... <laughs> wow. I love that you typed that as we were scanning arms.
Let's take us outside. Oh, that's great. Okay, so let's go bring the ship over here. And that way we can explore from a, I feel like a better area. Finally occurred to me we're not hearing any game sounds anymore. You may have already noticed and I misunderstood. Uh, awesome. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And Opera is also now. Okay, so I might need to restart uh, OBS then. Um, let me do that real quick. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, we back. My ship was getting absolutely destroyed in the three seconds that I, I had to restart OBS. So I uh, am I'm fixing that now while I am also being attacked. Okay, you know what, guys? You're kind of being real dickheads about this. Any more of you? Yeah. So everything's working now, right? I don't need engine fragments. I need hull. I need one more hull. What was I doing? Right, moving the ship over to the entrance of the, the thing we just found. I showed you my hull. Please respond. Wait, did I ever... I did not. Oh, it's good to restart. <laughs> um, so you don't want to re uh, try setting up that prediction again? Since I kind of, I kind of goofed it. I thank you. Don't forget, now that I've restarted stream, there's a free first up for grabs. <laughs> there you go, Rembear. Awesome. Congrats. Sound a little, uh. Well, not enthusiastic, but I, I meant that in the most sincere way. Okay. So, I think we've explored all of this. But I still haven't seen. Fragment. Oh. Bazinga! <laughs> oh my god. down there?
Ooh. Yeah, uh, since I started hanging out with more uh, streamer friends, they've given me a lot of cool tips as of switching to Mix it up, which allows me to do a lot of commands and whatnot that makes everything, like, really simple. But also, like, god, getting support from the Mix It Up team, absolutely atrocious. Zero out of ten, do not recommend. <laughs> I tried just getting help originally setting up the text-to-speech through there, and they were the least helpful bunch. I, I do not recommend sending people to that server if they're having Mix It Up issues. <laughs> I ended up just having, I think, either Andy or Tesha just copy a command for me from their setup and just doing that. Oh, I should... I mean, I, I, yeah. Uh, what I could do is the original plan of setting up. At, yes, actually, hold up. Let's find a place to see maybe we can build. Though so the issue is, there's definitely no sun getting to us this deep. Those guys should leave us alone enough to repair this. I might need to go make another hole reinforcement. I thought one would have been enough, but nah, these things are fucking me up. You're west of the mountain biome if you want to look for those wrecks. So, then if I go east of the mountain biome? Or. Great. E for the floating islands. I mean, I thought that those were the floating islands. Oh yeah, they are. I sorry, my brain is mush like ninety percent of the time, so ignore, ignore my, my smooth brain. So they would be in the island, right? Also, now that I'm here... Yes, we are now mapping the land. Actually, you know what? While I'm actually surfaced, I have a lot of Titanium my inventory. I should probably go throw those inside of the the Sima or C Yeah, Sima. Might need this. I don't think it- maybe it was, like, in here, in the water. But I decided to not go into the water, 
because I wanted to wait till I could like come back later with like more equipment and whatnot. I think what I should have done instead of was like look around the shore or the shipwreck or something. I should mount the, or not mount, map the biome up here. Why is, wait, why is there a gel sac? I thought these were supposed to be like really deep in the water. Shit, I could have made aerogel so early on. But yeah, get stuck there, please. Wait, no, please. This will kill it. Damn it, I, I just want to scan the bird. West of... East-Northeast of the Mountain Island? Awesome, thank you. You know, we we still need a uh, a Reaper Leviathan scan. I'm gonna guess it's down here. Speak of the devil. Hello. How are you today, sir? No, he's not very smart. I don't think you like that comment. What about the prawn suit, honestly? <laughs> I 
Yeah, all good. There we go, alien containment. Wait, actually, can't I... Does the stasis rifle work on... This is... This is gonna be a really dumb thing, isn't it? Like... You know what, let's... Let's check out the rep first, and then worry about stasising the... Leviathan so we can get a scan. <laughs> I think I still need to scan the gel sacks too, so let me. Uh... Or not. Am I gonna, you know, not be good because I'm holding radioactive material in my not radioactive suit? Like, I'm safe, right? of an alien bacteria that multiple advanced civilizations couldn't cure what's a little radiation you know what that is it's not a it's not a great point but it is a point So, uh, if anyone else knows how to set up predictions, can someone set up one to if I am going to get eaten by the Leviathan? I think this would be a very, very good one to have. Thank you. Drink the water. Good on food, good on health. This is going to be something. So my plan is, right? Right? My plan is... Get him in sight. Get out the... Okay. Okay. So it doesn't have a long charge time, so I need to, like... I either need to get him while he's close to me, or... Yes! Perfect! Thank you for your kind patronage, sir! <laughs> I'm out!
I didn't expect that to work. <laughs> Oh, he's not happy about it, though. <laughs> Alright, you just gotta kite him around a little bit till he gives up. So, now we just need to scan the ghost leviathan. <laughs> yeah, let's look up a scanning room and go back to the original pl- Fuck, oh, wait, no. I thought I got the nuclear reactor. I still need to scan more- More nuclear reactor pieces. I need to go back. I'm I am pushing my luck. I am I know what I I know I'm doing it, but like I wanna get those pieces before I forget they exist. Right. Thank you. So it doesn't seem like he actually goes like really close to the actual shipwreck. Octopus is out here too. The odds are not in our favor. Oh, hey, a time capsule. It's like the third one we found. So let's see, we got a large filtered water, but chips? Yeah, sure. Wait, is, what? Bruh, why is there two right next to each other? Bob doesn't play with the others. It was just a message. This is what I'm here for. Okay, nuclear reactor acquired. Wait, there was another stasis rifle. Well, I don't need two stasis rifles, but I'll take it. Because you never know what, ha what could happen. I forgot, does the, um, the Cyclops have a built-in docking bay? Hole frags are always rectangular-ish piece of wall. 
You see rib, uh, support ribs in them? Alright. So... Yeah, let's make our way back. Uh, we still have a good chunk of power left in the Seamoth. We could... Go behind the ship? And look for that last fragment we need? Oh, he's infected. I am really curious to see what's down there. No, don't open Steam. I don't need Steam open. Steam's just gonna take up more resources that don't need to be taken up right now. Will you stop it? I'm not ready to make an SS Melon Mach 3. No, Steam. Wait. Yes, exit Steam. I wonder how long it took to create the Aurora. That's like only the back half of it. Uh, two of them are square. One looks like a part of a fin. Good to know. Good to know. Good reasons to go to the Sea Treader's Path now. Is there whole fragments there? Awesome. That was... I think that was over here, right? Well then, let's get out of here. And let's go back to the weird floating red ball things. Oh my god, there's so much scrap. I might need to make another storage unit and, like, stick it somewhere. I'm gonna need to make a whole other room. Honestly, I might need to expand the base. Yeah. Like, if I have a map, I can, I can figure out locations, like, pretty okay. Um, eventually I'll just end up memorizing where everything is and not even need, like, need the map anymore. But if I don't have a map, I, I am terrible with trying to figure out where I am and where I'm going. Right, let you charge up a little bit. Deposit everything we've found. Do we need these anymore? Like, are we ever going to need the radiation stuff again? Mm. 
stored in the base somewhere. Yeah, I just feel like it's taking up a lot of storage, so I might need to make its own, like, de dedicated wall storage. On the other side. Me that bad. Put all my gold is in here. Just keep in here. Uh, do we have any more water? We do not. Need... What do we need for water? It was. Sea Chunder's path is west southwest of spawn and touches the edge of the map. Yeah, I think we were there for like a brief moment while I was getting the stuff to make uh, arrow gel. Well, we needed to make that weird red loop. Oh, what was it called? The benzene. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, bleaches, salt, and coral sample. Oh, that's cave sulfur. I should not have sulfur infused water. I feel like that's not healthy. I probably should not drink bleach. <laughs> I really made three things of bleach and was like, you know what? Yummy, yummy. Two, yeah, I'll keep two of those on me. I'll put this away. Yeah, I'm going to need to make another storage for, like, equipment. Uh, and then the titanium needs to be put away. So let's go get the Cyclops. Oh, not one's brute. All right. Uh, what I should do. Uh, everything else is fine, so I'll take uh, these two. God, I forgot how helpful it was to just have batteries constantly charging on standby. So let's put that away, that away, and that away. I forgot I even picked this up. Uh, oh, I should probably also replace the battery with the laser cutter. So two, you know, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if you've never watched me play a game like this, you probably don't know. But when I play games like this, I need to have my hotbar in a very specific way, or else I it, it just irritates me. Like it, if it's not my inventory is not sorted in a certain way, I will literally lose my shit. Okay, uh, so west, south, west. Wait, west, south, west. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. I don't remember at the. Oh, right. The door's not. Okay, never mind. That was. I like one of the users. Right? Well, let's put life pod 19 signal on. Oh, 
of the now that of course I stopped playing the 10 hour underwater ambient music from Donkey Kong, now the game is quiet with no music again. What was that? What's that sound? Why isn't it working? Did he really just warp me to troll me and then leave me alone? What a fucking asshole. Bro, it wasn't even two feet. Can I use this? Oh, because it's not a stasis rifle, Chance. It's a fucking repair tool. You're trying to repair the octopus. <laughs> oh, I s mm. I think I just give a great example of my brain is not not great. Stop fucking with me. So this is a completely new biome to me. Do I need deep shrooms for anything? <gasps> Yo, what is that? Thank you for the scan. How would you rate your experience out of 1 out of 10? I wish I could get like little seeds of the blood oil. So I could just plant them. Because like they take up so much space. So wait, can I? No. So how deep do we need to go? Shallower than this? Oh, so I am going unnecessarily deep. Gotcha. 
but then that would be up here. We're seeing blood kelp go southwest. I'm so glad to have my co-captain here. <laughs> Where would I be without the ship's navigator? Edge of the map already. Do I keep going? Yeah, I'm like over here. But also, the Leviathan did hurt me over here. Dude, don't go deeper? Okay. Oh, hey. Never mind, we found it. <laughs> it was right here. The red dot? Oh, that's the the radar I had on. But oh, Alright, we can make the Cyclops now. We did it. Right? Let me just double check. Yep. Yeah, the red dot's uh, life pod 19, because it was the closest one we had to this location, so I used it just in case I got lost. So, uh, what happens if I... Go... Do I get... Is there, like, a really big scary monster or something that kills me if I go out of bounds? Or is it just kill me? Is the monster scannable? There they are! Wow, they look fucking weird. Are they hostile? You start getting chains of ghost leviathan spawning on you? Oh, that's fun. They're not hostile. Cool. Go, oh, my steed. What a nice person. No, just in case, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. I don't know if they're gonna be used to craft anything. grab like three more nothing is yummier than acid am I right
Can I even get out of here from where, like, where I'm going? I am lost. Why do they think that going into a cave underwater would be smart? Let's get out of here. find the exit. I'm going on rubies for now. There we go. The path they follow goes through the bottom of the uh, cave. Dave? They go through Dave. I don't know why I've already tried scanning the gel sacks like three times already, and I still somehow managed to forget that I've scanned them. No, messing up with, with, with uh, messing up from fat fingers is adorable. Also, it's funny. What was that? Oh, you good. Oh my god, yes, I forgot we were looking at scrap, which we're probably going to need a good chunk of it, I feel, to make the Cyclops. If I'm complaining about having the, the fish wet slap my, like, uh, my visor or whatever on this, imagine how bad it's gonna be while I'm trying to pilot, like, a fucking a semi-truck of a submarine. So, I forget. Do we make those things in here and then put them together outside or do we put them do we just make everything outside yeah we need to go outside did I scan you guys So, I need three plasteel ingots and three enameled glass. Okay. Can I just, like... There we go. I forget you also unlocked the alien containment. I did. Um... This base needs an upgrade. I th think what I'm gonna do... 
think I know what I'm gonna do. So let me grab my habitat builder. I think we're going to make a large room. Two glass. Gonna need to add some more reinforced plating. The quartz. Uh, okay. So let's do this. Let's get this out of my inventory. Put this in here for now. Um, doesn't seem like I can use these mushrooms for anything yet. Um, let's go put the stasis gun away. So let's look up the recipe for plasteel ingot. Okay. That's easy enough. Um, glass. I'm just using this to make like a list so I actually know on the right what I'm looking for. Uh, I think we can make the advanced wiring kit already. Uh, that would be electronics, wiring kit, wiring kit. So, oh, we also need a computer chip. Sitting here, like I know I need copper. So, two copper. I need three gold, two silver. I need to go find some more silver at some point. Uh, and two table coral. Good thing I stocked up on that. Wiring kit is gotten, lubricant gotten, uh, five lead? Three lead gotten. So let's just do a quick scan for some. Actually, wait. I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of titanium now that I'm thinking about it. So let's put this stuff. Oh, I know. Put everything away here for now. And let's go grab some of these shipwreck parts that are just laying around. Oh, yep, you're right. Should save. Thank you, Ben Bear. I did not make it easy for my sea moth to get in and out of here. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. After you left, I think Kirk and I found, like, one more SCP, and then we set off a nuclear bomb head, and then we went and played, uh, like, Monkey Ball VR. Then after that, I think we just watched, like, Kamen Rider. Okay, yeah, th 
this is all a lot further away than it looks. What's that? Here we go. Maybe? Has right. anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look more like? I, that just made me feel like I had an aneurysm, Andy. Yeah, um, we found a game where I don't really understand the point of it, to be honest, but, uh, you're in the SCP, uh, SCP uh, facility, and you get to either be a prisoner, a guard, or a scientist. I chose a scientist, Chompy chose a guard, and, uh, Kirk just joined in as a prisoner, because that was the only thing that wasn't chosen. Um, but, like, I'm guessing the whole point is to have, like, a set group of people so that way you can, like, play with the experiments and, like, try them out. Um, the longer you play, the more you get paid, and the more you get paid, the higher you can, like, upgrade to get higher access to, uh, higher ranking SCPs. So we were starting off with, uh, very basic ones, and then eventually moved on to, like, the guy that snaps your neck, um... The giant white guy who doesn't like it if you look at his face and just beats you to death. We actually, um... Well, I... Uh, for the dude who snaps your neck, I may or may not have lit him free. Uh, on accident. So we had to restart. And then immediately after, uh, when we all got to, like, the final area where we could, like, try the really, like, the really hard SCPs, we... May or may not have let the giant white person escape, and uh, he was constantly hunting us down and beating us to death for staring at him. Listen, you cannot prove that I let him escape on purpose, and even if I did, I did try to capture him and put him back, but the game was being glitchy, and I think we needed at least two people to put him back in containment. There was also uh, one SCP, it was a, uh, a sentient flame that we couldn't get to work. I don't know if we just didn't have the right things, but I didn't even buy the fire extinguisher, so even if someone did light on fire, I couldn't put him out. See, I'm gonna need footage of this, because uh, that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> yeah, Pixar didn't happen. We still need more titanium, oh my god. Um, what was plastic? Plastic was... Oh god, we need so much more titanium. Okay. Well, this just turned into a titanium farming stream. I like when you put him in a cage and he proceeded to assault me. <laughs> he didn't hurt you, he just chased us down. Yeah, uh, I don't remember the name of the game specifically, but yeah, it was just like the whole SCP stuff. It, like, it looked very similar to the, um, the one game that's really popular, just not as... 
SCP Site 10, yeah. 19, yeah. Like, it only had a handful of SCPs. Like, not really a lot. There are other SCP games, though, that they, they could probably be really fun in VR. Honestly, I think there's a, a game that's basically like the regular SCP game that like Markiplier and other people really liked playing that's multiplayer, and I, I think I would love to play that. Just be absolutely fucking horrified with my friends as things attack us. So that world is supposed to have all the SCPs that are from Containment Breach? Hey! I didn't see the giant lizard. We didn't see Radical Larry at all. In fact, we didn't even see the area that had Radical Larry or whatever. I don't know what his full name is. I just know it's the weird shadow guy who morphs through walls. I only know him strictly from Markiplier. I'm not really big on the SCP lore myself. It's too much reading for me. I like watching uh, people do like videos on SCPs and stuff though. That shit's that shit's fire. They're in a later part of the world. I got to the highest, like... Highest rank. And I didn't, like, see shit. Okay, so we need six lithium. Luckily, we have six lithium. <laughs> Into the Discord, there's a lot more. What they really need is a map. That's what that shit needs a map. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's fine. Thank you for showing up, Rimbear. The fact that you even spent the time that you had here means a lot. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Uh, right, right, right. right. Let's start searching for glass now. No, thank you. Works. And let's, oh yeah, let's put the titanium away. We don't really need this on us right now. Are you winning, Superstar? Uh, I think I'm winning. What I really need to find is like one of those huge quartz deposits. I know I've seen one or two of them before. There's plenty of quartz around. That's like the one good part about making a base in this biome is that quartz just naturally spawns on the surface and then usually, I mean, even not on the surface, as you can see, in a good chunk.
the funny part is, I am 100% making it, like, impossible to get the sea moth in and out. I did not get eaten by the leviathan. I successfully uh, used stasis and uh, scanned them. Did anyone win that? Did anyone even vote for it? Okay. So we're gonna need some of the teeth I've been storing. Uh, you did not. I totally didn't vote. That he wasn't completely predicted correctly. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, uh, you're great, Wenberry. More tooth. Did you store the teeth under your pillow? No, I don't have a bed. <laughs> I haven't made a bed in game. <laughs> Should probably do that when I make the bigger room. I'll probably make the large room and move everything from here over there and then make this like a bedroom maybe or a multi-purpose room. There's like there's partitions and everything too. I could use to like decorate the rooms. So what I end up doing, that is to be seen. Okay, then I believe I just put everything in here for it. So that, these three, uh, that, and that. Yes. No, oh, on this world is... <laughs> Bro, I mean, if I put a... A, a tooth under my pillow and a ghost leviathan came out I think my first reaction would be to try and scan it be advised the cyclops is designed to be operated by a three person crew only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. See, she says that, and then I'm like, this is why it would be a perfect game for multiplayer. The fact that they never added multiplayer to this game, like, officially makes me sad. And the fact that the, the mod for it doesn't work with 2.0 also makes me sad. Okay, so we got a pre-fire extinguisher. Um, decoy launcher. Got, what does it take, six power cells? So we're gonna need to build a power cell uh, charger. Exactly, you get it. You get me, Ren Barisi. Storage. Okay, yeah, we we. Go outside and look at that. I mean, I can't color the interior, but I'm fine with this. Let's go and grab that module we found earlier. Uh, 
Grab that. Probably see what the depth is. Make the Cyclops death or Where depth module. Is that like on the Cyclops? Dock the sea prawn onto here. Oh wait, I need to lower this down so it's closer to the ground. this thing. <laughs> I think I can make this go up or down. I think it's just a portable base. So much quartz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Can I, like, how do I make this thing go down? <laughs> I don't know how. Shift? No. Control? Like your bindings think it's X? Uh, X is just forward. Uh, let's see. Options. Keyboard. Move down to C. There we go. I've only made this thing like once before. I think I just crashed it into my base. No, I crashed into another fish. There we go. Put over here. Thank you, Red Bear. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Your Cyclops all the way down to the Emperor? I think I know what you're talking about. I recently watched someone like Are you winning play Superstar? The game. But they just kind of like, it was like a quick summary of like all of their streams, so the details are blurry, as we'll see listening to the jokes they were making. That's a giant salt deposit. Cyclops. I need to figure out how to get the Cyclops upgrade module. I think there might be something on the Cyclops I can craft it with. I don't think any of the crafting tables we have now actually give us that ability to create it, maybe? At least not from the quick glance I looked at the modification station. That's right, we needed two things of glass. Let's get a large room. Oh yeah, it that's that's that is large. Okay, so we're gonna need another blast one. May as well just turn it all into glass. It's only useful for being turned into glass. I need a shit ton of more titanium though when I go to craft the room itself, I feel. When they say large room, they really mean large room. Two plastic lingots. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's going to be still going to be a lot of tiny. But... And oh, I just enough. Do I have lithium though? Yeah, but I'm out now, so I need to go back under by the mushroom place and start looking for those big lithium things.
this back since we didn't need it. This over here for now. My god, we have like so much room for like activities. <laughs> Um, first thing I want to do is... I wonder, could I stack another one on top of this? Because if so, like, we really wouldn't need to move our base anywhere. I think we've been pretty fine with our location as it is. Yep. That's going to be the next step. Not for a while. A DM Drew of Subnautica song slash video via Discord? Yo, I'll check that out when I'm done streaming. And I'll also put like a ladder over. Oh, I can't put one down until I actually finish that. So let's make a little like bed area. Let me do titanium and fiber mesh. Uh, where's the wall partitions? I know I have them. Oh my god! Oh my god, hi! No! Oh, huh! Hi! Hi! Hi everyone! Welcome in! Thanks for the raid! What were, oh god, what were you playing? What were you doing? Ah! Uh... What was it? Hi everyone! <laughs> Uh, my name is Watermelon Orc. I'm a variety streamer. Currently, we're playing uh, Subnautica. I am building an addition to my base. Uh, I, 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 I am caught off guard. Uh, hello. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. Oh my God! Yeah, th thank you. I. Uh, thanks for the compliment. I, I I love my PNG tuber. He's my my silly little silly little guy. Uh oh, how was stream? How are, how are you today, Pa? Looks like they're playing party animals. Ooh. Uh, let me pull this up so that way you can actually see chat better. Yeah, welcome in everyone. Make yourself at home. Uh, Kyla Wolf, welcome to the Common Rider Club. <laughs> uh... I I'm doing good. That was cute when vibing music. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that the raid did not take you with it. <laughs> I, I basically just be like, hi, how are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome in everyone, make yourself at home. Welcome writers. I am Gammon the lovable chat pet. Yes, that is Gammon the chat pet. Um, you can spend channel points to make him speak and say silly little things with a silly little voice. Party animals is a lot of fun, even though it did knock out Paul a few times. <laughs> you go to work since it's a oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, go go do what you need to. I'm glad that you decided to leave your community with me, and I hope I do not let you down. <laughs> Yo, cozy panda, welcome to the Kamen Rider Club. Can I not build another wall? Oh, 
That's weird, but I mean, whatever. Yeah, enjoy your lurk, Paw. Oh, okay. Uh, now it would be like the door? No. Uh, let's maybe put the door here. Or not. I guess we don't need doors. I guess do we know if we use this one? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. But yeah, welcome everyone. Uh I'm currently playing through Subnautica. We've made a good deal of progress. We just unlocked the Cyclops. As you can see it just sitting there looming over our massive base. <laughs> Uh, that we just kind of been vibing, and also now that I'm thinking of it, the game hasn't played any music any time recently, so I'm gonna go back to playing some uh, aquatic ambience from Donkey Kong. Uh, so I need quartz. I just sat here and was like, quartz is used for nothing but glass. I don't need this anymore. And then I needed it immediately. Why am I not wearing my suit? You tell me I was just out here, just raw dog in life, just like that on God. There we go. Now we have a nice little room, and then we can put our bed down. You don't need the quilt, the double bed, but you know, if we're gonna be sleeping, may as well be in style and comfort. Fiber mesh, we have plenty of. Nope. Wait. Fiber mesh. That's... Oh, we need to go cut some grass. Uh, I don't think we need the second root pool any now, uh, anymore now that we have the... the Cyclops, so I might just deconstruct this for materials. I gotta also seek fluid intake because I am a silly little guy who doesn't remember to drink water. What? Thank you. Wonder what it's like to sleep underwater. I I think I would love it, but also be slightly mortified. See, I have this fear, right? And I didn't realize it was a fear until recently. But I am terrified of things that are colossal. So that, if I saw that in real life, I'd probably be just dying. I discovered that uh, one day playing VR chat, there was like an attack on Titan World. I didn't know it was an attack on Titan World. It was just like this house on a lake and I walked outside and just chilled out by the lake. I was like, all right, yeah, this is cool. And then, like, I heard a roar in the distance, and I looked in the direction, and then there was this giant titan. That was I don't I don't know anything about the show, past like season one, but it was ah, uh, like there was just a giant titan that was like a huge rib cage in the distance, and it just kept getting closer and larger. And I was like, this is not very great. <laughs> I am not thriving in this environment. <laughs> oh, right. Silly little guy needs to drink water. Yeah. Like, it wasn't too bad. It was like, man, I... I it's, if that was real life, that would be terrifying. So, like, I think I would... I'm, it's really hard to say if I'd freak out if I saw a whale. I, I think I think that's what I'm getting down to, but like I like the idea of like sleeping underwater, just having like tropical fish and shit go by, and you know not Cthulhu over here. 
Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, I also do art, and this is like a piece I made a while ago. I decided to throw into the game. I know the quartz symbols are are completely overshadowing it, but it's a nice little snom riding a, a lotad as his mighty steed to defeat the evil Caterpie to save Princess Snom. Thanks, I... It's it's probably one of the ones I'm most proud of. That's when I was still able to use Paint Tool Psy. Um, I, I like doing, like, watercolor-esque things. There was a, a thing I wanted to do originally where I was going to make a bunch of art inspired of Kiki's delivery service and, like, other Studio Ghibli things, and I uh, just kind of never got around to finishing it. move all of our storage over here. Um, let's put all the crafting stuff over here. To make sure it's flush against the wall. Oh, well hi Miss Feisty. Welcome in. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoy your time here. Apparently we're just chilling out, playing some Subnut. Uh, I realize that not everyone might know that I call Subnautica Subnut, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, like I said, we just made this this uh, huge ass submarine, and now I'm just kind of rearranging the base because we need more storage for more things. Uh, and all this can go here. Uh, this can go here. Soak in the glass. Do this game. It's definitely interesting. Uh, it's this is like my second time playing it, and probably gonna be the first time I'm actually planning on beating it. Um, but I I love it. It's I, uh, it, uh, it's, there's so much stuff that people can do with underwater, and you never realize it until you play a game that's completely based off being underwater. So let's move all this stuff. Let's do this like right next to the bedroom, maybe? And then let's do, no. Fabricator on the middle of the wall right here. We're probably going to keep this like roughly how we had it before. Um, that's not centered. That's going to annoy me. Yeah. Um, trying to think. Uh... We have channel point redeems. You can have me uh, switch between different kind of hats. And, uh, for example, um, I have Clown, Headphones, Billy Hatcher, Glamrock Freddy, Ty's Goggles, and I could just be a ghost from Destiny along with having a Metroid stuck to my head. Um, there's some other ones too, like uh, Lombax. Uh, that's pretty much most of them. And, like I said earlier, if you have channel points, you could also redeem a uh, chat pet speaking thing, so uh, you can have our little friend Gamelon in the corner speak your messages. I am a very forgetful and silly person, so I, I hope uh, you enjoy. Where is the fabricator? And then modification station can go like right oh. here. <laughs> oh, I forgot to change back. <laughs> uh, I need to click out of the game because I forgot that this game has. I, I, it... Oh. Hi. <laughs> I forgot this game has F key bindings, so 
uh, sometimes messing up my hat and stuff, uh, messes with that. Okay, let's take all this out, along with this. Did I ever finish making the bed? Oh well. Yeah, for every major game we play, I like to, like, spice up, uh, my PNG tuber model and Gamma Mon. If I'm playing, like, a major game, I make a special little hat for my character, and, uh, I make Gamma Mon matching outfits so that we can at least be in the similar theme. Uh, recently, uh, if you know Kirk the Orc, uh, me and him did a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Soul Link, uh, that I still have about... I want to say, like, 40 hours of footage I need to be cutting down, but I think I've been avoiding. <laughs> um, we're gonna need a lot of these things. Like, a lot of these things. Oh, uh, yeah, the, I made the life best specifically for this game. Uh... Before, he's only... Like, originally, he only had a little... A little scarf slash bandana that I could switch in between. And then I made him a little Pokemon bandana when we were doing that, and then, uh... Yeah, I couldn't really think of anything to make my, my melon. So I just... Actually, yeah, the average panel would be better. Uh, maybe not in my room. Maybe, like, here? I should be focusing on making progress, but now I'm focusing on interior design like a true gay. Um, interior design is my passion. Limp wrist. Charge anything else? No. They don't need to be charged, but like, I don't feel like wasting storage space on them, so... We're gonna go there. Um, for now, I think what I need to do is like dump all my inventory somewhere. Which you know what? Perfect. Perfect. Welcome to the Cyclops. I have not named it yet. I don't know if I will. Uh, let's put anything we don't need in here. I should probably pull this closer to the... Please tell me why coming up with uh, names is so hard. I... I would love to give you an answer, but uh, I'll give you a little insight in my brain. I am terrible at making up names. I... There's a reason I'm just called Watermelon Orc. <laughs> I am not good at names. This over. Oh, over here, let's grab all of this. Oh! Wait. So you can use it as storage. I... I wish I knew that earlier. This is the reason I call him this face is because I didn't give myself the name. <laughs> Yeah, I, I... I've bounced between, like, five or six different online handles, Watermelon Orc being just the most recent one. Uh, before that, I was Watermelon Ghost, and before that, I was the Ghastly Gengar. Before that... 
Well, I was Blast the Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I also have like shells I can make? I'm going into way too much detail with just making my this this silly little ship or my my silly little base. Oh yeah, there we go. So can I actually place this anywhere here? You know, I was originally planning to like move to a completely new base, but now that I'm sitting here doing interior design, I'm never leaving the spot. Like, I hope everyone knows this. We're gonna need to like double the amount of these that we had before. They're not touching the wall. Oof. Yeah, I, it's, I don't make my previous names, like, known very often, because I just... Well, one, they're embarrassing. Um, but two, like... I don't know, I feel like there were some things that I rather left buried. close to the walls we can get it. Why am I putting everything away? I need to take it out and move it. Damn it, now this one's closer to the wall than that one. I hope you're all enjoying this thrilling gameplay of me just being super picky about how I want my base to look. back. I don't know why that's the- I, like, I'm not ever going to be, like, using that as storage, because I didn't even know it existed till like- well, I knew it existed, I just didn't know I could use it till like, now. Give me a little swivel chair. Yo, look at my gamer setup. I'm ready to game, like, so hard. Uh, it's a career, I'm totally well good. Terrible. Have to be, it's like a building mechanic in Fallout 4. Yeah. Yeah. Which is also something I got really anal about. Do I just need quartz? Okay. Well, luckily, we're looking for quartz. Unluckily, 
My modes of faster transportation are, uh... Oh, first, wait, I can use the sea moth. Though I should not be running around with very high quality items on me. Uh, fiber, and then silicone, glass, copper, titanium, lubricant. I have everything kind of sorted by, like, this is going to be, like, components or man-made materials. This is just, like, our tier 3 and higher stuff. And then this is gonna be well. I, I'm, like I'm doubling it, but like I'm just kind of exploiting. <laughs> I had like two thousand hours of Fallout for, especially for the building mechanics. I I don't even know because I've played Fallout Four on the Xbox and PC. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten to play it on the PS4. That's probably where I would play it the most. I feel. Yeah, I might need to go get the sea glide out, because, uh, this ain't very quag. You will often hear me say phrases that probably sound nonsensical or weird. You're just gonna have to get used to that. If you're wondering what quag is, I highly recommend you check out a YouTube video called Dogs in Love by Jello Apocalypse. I guarantee that you will love it. Alright, the game of the year for PS4. Highly recommend it. So much fun. Ye! Like, uh... I don't know. I... I've beaten the game once, and I really... I, I've played it on and off uh, since then on PC. Um... But it's mostly just been to, like, kind of mess around and not really actually go out of my way to make progress. Silver go. I think this will also be where the lead goes. Originally, I was storing lead with uh, the base materials because I just had so much. I'm gonna need to do so much organizing, but I'll probably save that till after stream, because I have an idea of how I want this to be organized. It's just the process of actually going out of my way and organizing it. That's already... A little bit more than what we had before. So we're need titanium quartz. And water. I should probably drink water. I'm still, like, slowly dying of dehydration. I... Well. Let's hope I can just shove enough food down my face that, like, the fruits will rehydrate me. I know the Hydro Melon gives me a good chunk, right? Eh, it's a decent chunk. But what I meant to do was put this in here a while ago, but I kept accidentally putting down the Hydro Melon. This is one way to hydrate yourself, I guess. 
I'm thirsty. Oh, what'd you do? I ate like 20 apples. Like I said, I've been trying to organize these by like um, what material drops from what ore. So there's like uh, sandstone, limestone, shale. And I think those are the main ones. I should put like one or two over here. It's crooked. It's crooked. Right? No, it's not. I'm just imagining things. This game, I, I think this would benefit from like a, uh, what are they called? a gridlock system for building. So that way, like, I could just... Kind of like how I was building the walls, because that was on a grid. No. Need anything else in this corner? Well, actually, since... I like that. Construct this. That looks weird there, though. Maybe if instead I put them, like, here. I need three of these things going at all times, since the Cyclops gets powered by six cells. But at some point, I am going to need to... Be titanium to Ruby. Well, I have Ruby. I'm lacking on Titanium. Uh, this will be all organics. And then we're still, like, two things before we're done, right? Yeah, Fallout 4, uh, I, sorry, I, I, my brain got sidetracked and I, well, I got sidetracked. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite Fallout game. I feel like that's a hot take, apparently. I mean, I don't think it is. I really like the progression and the story of Fallout 4 along with the world it builds and the atmosphere the game has. But uh, I guess some people aren't really happy with that. But then to them I say good goodbye. His battery's gone. Oh yeah, we also have this weird little dolphin egg that this is the whole reason we're re like redoing the base. It's just so I can have my my pet dolphin. Which reminds me, we were looking to build this. Wow, that takes up a lot of room. That might honestly be better on like oh. You know what? Let's Let's wait till we build the next floor. Um, so can we like composes organic matter into electrical energy? Uses nuclear rods to generate energy. We are, we're so close to the surface, we don't really need a nuclear reactor. If anything, the water filtration system might might actually be the biggest benefit to us. We can make the copper wire, we need the titanium, and I think we have the stuff to make aerogel. Oh yeah, we need to deconstruct our vending machine. Um, I'm gonna leave this area down as like our farm. I don't really see a reason to like uproot everything down there. Uh, Mr. Melner, you didn't know you're supposed to hate all games ever, and if you have fun, you're an idiot. Ah, yes, my bad, my bad. And then 
this will be for when I get lazy and don't actually want to go about down and grab food. This just gives me like an infinite amount of chips. Um, and then let's do, no, not a bench, a counter. And then on top of that counter, we'll put the coffee machine. Hydrating caffeine free coffee. That does not sound pleasant. Okay, let's go look for quartz and titanium. Everyone, this is the SS Melon Mach 2. Our Mach 1 was, uh, you know, destroyed by totally not me reasons. You know, not me trying to go up to big scary fishes that, you know, eat me in a bite. You know, totally not my fault. We have a lot of salt. Which I think we're gonna need. Is that what we need for bleach? It's like salt and table coral. Salt and bone coral. Go over here. It seems like there's a metric shit ton over here. I keep underestimating how much of everything we need. And then I'll be like, oh, you know, we have a good supply, and I'll stop collecting it. And then I'll use it all, like, literally ten minutes later. And be like, oh, well, uh, I guess I need to go and scavenge a bit. I think that's how I felt in, uh... It was either Fallout 4 or Fallout 76, where I constantly was running out of screws. I, need, I just would, like, scrounge the whole map looking for, like, fans and shit I can dismantle. That's just survival games in general. We'll definitely need the amount of 20 minutes later I heavily on yet. But, like, say it's, like, I, I think, uh, my biggest example is uh, coal in Minecraft. I will make like a whole box of like a whole double chest of coal blocks. Metroid, okay, Metroid it is. <laughs> it's kind of fitting since it's a weird jellyfish. biome being directly near our base. 
Wait, you're telling me I just had to go, like... 300 meters and I would have been able to make aerogel super easily? You're telling me I didn't have to go and risk my life just to, you know, get a little blood oil? Well, now I just feel silly. Well, shit, now I want to go down here and explore. This is a whole new area of the map for me, I think. Yeah, we haven't been in this trench. Later, later. We have enough quartz for now. Let's go back, start scanning for scrap, and then... Um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably finish up at least building the base. And then maybe wrap up stream. Uh, Oh, is there actually music happening in game now? There is. The only reason I've had that aquatic ambient music on loop like so long is just because the game has been struggling to just play music for some reason. Not like actually struck. It's just like it's just never happening. Put this away in this chest for now. I'll head over to the scan room. Master game. All right, now that I have done this, I need to start supplying more power, so I might need to make the nuclear reactor or something now that I'm thinking of it. The reason I'm looking for salvage and not like the material or like the thing that drops uh titanium is this just, just gives me four and a go. Like I don't need to sit and find like six if I want if I need like four, I could just find a single metal salvage and then I'm done. So this is like the fastest way I think to get titanium. Though, I'm not sure if there's, like, giant titanium deposits, like there are the other materials that we've seen so far. And if there are, none of them spawn in here. What does scanning do? It's, it's kind of like just registering stuff in, like, the Pokedex of the game. I don't know if you actually get anything for doing it, but, uh, say you find a, a machine that's sunk with the ship. You're able to scan a certain amount of parts for that, and then it will teach you the blueprint on how to make it. Like, uh, that's how we got our... A lot of the rooms in our base, our prawn suit, our cyclops. It was by going to salvage... Or, like, uh... Crashes like this and scanning stuff like that. You can also scan yourself to see how you're doing health-wise. 
reaction in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Yeah. Um, and if you didn't know, or you never played this game, uh, the whole premise of the story is that we were on a ship called the Aurora, which... One second. Was, uh... That ship, right over there. And it crashed into the water. And, uh... We were the only people to seemingly escape alive. Uh... The game starts us off just in a little lifeboat, which is that little thing over there. And we need to try and make our way off the planet. Uh, as you play, uh, the radio that I have in the base will occasionally pick up radio frequencies from other lifeboats that escape from people uh, trying to call for help. And usually by the time we get there, they're dead. Um, to the point where we've gotten in the story, we have gotten to an island, and on the island there was an alien facility, and in the alien facility there was a kind of like a scanner that we tried to activate, and it told us that we're not allowed to deactivate a turret unless we, you know, aren't hazardous anymore, since we are infected with whatever disease destroyed this alien civilization. We're not allowed to leave the planet, and anyone who comes to try and save us gets shot out of the sky by a giant trace rifle kind of thing. Um... So, right now our goal is to make a spaceship and meet whoever is trying to save us halfway. But before we can do that, we need to disable the giant cannon by curing yourself. I don't know if I explained that properly or well, but that's that's the gist of it. Nope. Oh, I didn't want to make that. Oh, that's a waste of ten. No, can I? Oh, I should have canceled. I don't know if I can cancel now that I think about it. I hear that some things let you construct them partially and then others don't. Coffee machine. You look like you could use some coffee. Why, uh, yes, I could. I guess I have to sit and let's do a thing. Yeah, occasionally, like, the light will start blinking on this, and we'll get a Notification on the right side of the screen. That's like, hey guys, there's a new distress signal. Maybe, like, try and figure out where it's coming from. Why? That's the second time this game has done this, where I started building something, or at least put the blueprint down, and it's like, no, sorry, you can't build that. Two ruby and two titan- oh, I need advanced wiring kits, that's why. Uh, that's a little more involved. No, nope, that's gonna drive me insane. Um, advanced wiring kit. Oh, hey, I have a coffee. Uh, that was... Okay, so it's gonna be like four, six, eight silver. Actually, that's really it, just eight silver. I might need to find more silver. Two, three, four, five, six, nope.
though after this I definitely will. Also notice, the music's gone again, so... Do you know how to cure yourself, or is that still unknown? Um, I have a rough idea on how to go about it, but I think I need to, like, wait until, like, the game tells me to go, like, explore more, try to find more, uh, like, ships and frequencies, I think? Um... But I have, like, a rough idea, so there's, like, a lab somewhere that I need to, like, go into, and I need to help a thing, and once I help the thing, they will help me get, the pl get off the planet. Oh, computer chip, that's the one that sucks. Uh, someone I need... For six table coral and six copper. They've moved the copper over yet. I don't even think I moved that stuff over. Oh wait, no, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Table coral. Where's my bio stuff. Mm, okay, I know what I can do. We'll start crafting stuff now. There's also the full possibility that the game has told me how to cure myself, but I was not paying attention. Or it was in a log or something that I didn't read yet. The game has a lot of text, as you can see in the log, that, uh... I, I, my brain will not let me do. It will, eventually, just not now, and I'm, uh, uh, Should have everything I need. If you're wondering why we need so many power soul chargers, it's because. I might have explained it before, but that, that stupid thing takes six of them. And I have not made backups. I found one extra battery cell, and then that that's it. And this shit is draining my power like a motherfucker. Titanium, titanium. Wait, no. Get that. Get the quartz to make like. Mm. Actually, this. Yeah, we'll make one more. Just to have an even number. Actually, no, we do have an even number. We have three over here and we have seven over here. So we just really need to organize our inventory space.
So quartz and titanium go here. Then I want the synthetic stuff over here. Not synthetic, but handmade stuff. Glass, rubber, titanium ingots, copper, this, this. Oh, other way around. Put this stuff over here for now. I am still slowly dying of dehydration. The coffee machine really didn't do a lot. It's more for show than anything else, just like the chips. So, uh... Now this probably isn't a this this isn't a healthy habit at all. Like I I am fully seeing the problem that is happening and it is it's happening. Alright. You just double check. I think I got all the boxes out of here, right? Yeah. So then let's clear out. These three. What do I have in my inventory right now? Nothing. stuff. I'm gonna keep this one empty, keep this one fine. This one empty, or no, this one will be the, the letting gold. Copper and titanium go over here. Oh, yeah, Keep this all quartz and we'll put the titanium over here. Eating the fruit gives you hydration too? It gives you like two hydration, so it's not like what I'm supposed to be doing, but also like. Country girls make do. Actually, I think I have. So actually, let's take this stuff. So this is all equipment. This doesn't need to be here. This is equipment. This is stuff we're actually going to use. I should also make food like its own separate thing. Fuck. Okay, here's what we'll do. Right? This is all equipment. This is water or food. Um, future egg is not food. Put another silly little guy on a counter. Creature egg, we'll put that in bio for now. I'm calling it bio because this is where all like the biological, like natural spawning, like yeah. Uh, we'll just keep all this here. No, wait, no. 
And I'll put this over here. Yeah. Everything's nice. It's organized. We still have plenty of room. I need more titanium still. But I need to make two last steel ingots to uh, make that next floor. Which I think that's where we're going to put our main... Where actually? I think I want to... Do this instead. I don't want to like completely block off the scanning room, so we might build a room over here. I really like the glass tubes. Like, I, I really fucks with the glass tubes. Yeah, maybe it was looking simple. Two, three, four, seven, eight. I'll probably make two glass tubes. Then I'll make a multi purpose room. And then in that multi purpose room, that's where I'll put my. My aquarium. Though I'm wondering if I make a double decked aquarium. Like, can I? I wonder if that's a thing. You want Gim? Oh, that's my bot. Yeah. And then we'll make the multi-purpose room. What's up, baby? Take me out to dip. I'm a coming later. Yeah. Yo, thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy your dinner and also uh have a nice meal. Or not have a have a nice uh few Overwatch games. Yeah. I I'm a master in English. Orc struggle to to speak English. This isn't terrifying at all. <laughs> what? Oh, what's something else? I'm gonna. I need to like reinforce a lot of walls because I am a hundred percent risking the integrity of this. The, the like, I will probably have a few breaks in my my thing. Uh, is that showing something you've pinned and haven't built yet? Yeah, so you can pin recipes in the top right. Uh, they kind of be like helpful reminders of things, so I need to go and find salt and, uh... I have a girl cheese and tomato soup. Aw, oh, classic. I can't remember the last time I've had that combo. Um... Yeah, I need to go get, find salt and, uh that coral tubing so that way I can go make more bleach so I can make more water. Oh, that reminds me that like there was a point where I was really into soup I used to get like this loaded baked potato soup, which was like cheese, bacon, chunks of potato, I think uh, a little bit of onions. 
You have a gas stove and I want to keep burning the cheese to it. No, Yuki! Top tier especially because I just moved in. Or moved to... It's the weather? Yeah. Grilled cheese and tomato soup is honestly like... I, I, it's like so good for uh, cold weather. Ooh, yeah. So I, I think uh, if it was raining, I'd just make some hot chocolate. Right? Ah, I fucking... Mm. I need those cans of soup. You can, yeah, okay, you can... Put it away, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I literally, like, sat and was, like, looking at the thing to, like, make water. I was like, hmm. I was like, yeah, it's probably best if I just make the water filtration system. That way I don't need to constantly go around and, like, scrounge for it. So it needs, what, an advanced wiring kit? No, just a copper wire and aerogel. How do I make aerogel again? That was like the the red liquid oh. with gel, like the gel pad things, right? Yeah, well, no, one ruby, one gel set. Fuck, uh, we're out of rubies. salvage though like I genuinely need to like bulk up on a I need to bulk up on titanium before I search for anything else but like I want to make the water so that way I'm not constantly dying of dehydration oh that's where the battery came from I meant to put it in here It'd be really cool if I could make a a search thing on that. There's my sea moth. Rained every day for like a week and spent 16 years in New Mexico, the desert, and I'm just so happy the water tastes out. Ah, yeah. Okay, I missed that message earlier. Yeah, uh, it, I don't think I could thrive in a desert. I need cold weather. Like. Even just going to Florida. Florida kills me. I'd probably be happier in, like, Canada. No, no. Give me the metal scrap, you asshole! Ooh. 
What are you? That, I don't like that fish. That's a, that is not a good fish. It's 90% eyeball. Fish can see for miles. I didn't put my titanium away. Why am I like this? I got cold, but I had like zero humidity and only lakes or ponds. What's the rivers and creeks? And it was a sad water situation there. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. I think I have enough. I, I, I think I have enough titanium for now. Um, if I need more, there's plenty to scan for, though I need to see if I can scan for rubies. And if not, I know where to go. It's just gonna, I might need to take the, the prawn, or the, the cyclops out. Actually, wait. Where was that biome that we found that was like, yeah. Because that, there should be rubies down there. What I wanted to try out in here is... Then also have a ladder. No. If I did the ladder first, and then, no. You know what I'll do? I'll do this, right? Build the ladder. We'll probably put some stuff over here, maybe move the food over here, and then get rid of that whole other wing. Put the aquarium here, uh, which is five glass, two titanium. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. But also, what? Man, I feel like that would have been perfect to have a glass roof on top of the aquarium. So. Five glass, two titanium. Oh, here's the two titanium. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Can I make a bunch of glass? So I just need two more. This back. Oh, my God, you can. So I think that it could actually okay. Okay, 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 okay.
forgetting, go over here. Cancel. Ruby. These work how I'm thinking it's gonna work. Yes! Two floor aquarium, let's go! And then we can finally catch this little guy. As soon as I find the little guy. Okay. I'll be honest, I don't know how to put things in the aquarium. It looks like someone's mad. Go cry about it, bitch. <laughs> I forgot about that. I knew there was something I forgot to change. Oh, no. Okay, but there's Bob. Uh, I'm gonna go cry and overwatch it. <laughs> yep. Well, have fun. Hope to see you later. Add a hatch to enter. Okay. Quartz of titanium. I think I just drop it in here and eventually it should hatch so we'll check up on our friend later and actually now that we have this we don't need that little aquarium anymore time it is. Alright, so we'll probably wrap the stream here soon. Let's drop these guys here. Wait. Hold up, did it say y'all were contaminated? Okay, no. I say I'm not contaminating my dolphin. I think I ate one of the fish. I ate one of the fish. That was unfortunate. Yum yum. I still have not finished making the water filtration system. We <laughs> put <I'm> contaminated. <laughs> Let's go find some rubies. Which seems like there's only four in our immediate vicinity.
What's that sound? What's that sound? I hate that. What's what was that? Why that sound super hostile and mean? It did not sound like a nice fish. I'm gonna assume there's more rubies this way. I'm trying to seek fluid intake, but I have to go a super roundabout way to make a water filtration system. Thank you very much. Give me a seed. I'd like to plant some of this. I wonder if I could pick up some of that and then like use that as a seed. If not, then like oh well. I only grabbed three so I can make another fluoride or whatever the fuck it's called. No. No. There are really only four rubies in this entire bio. Not to cause an alarm, but I think I might be surrounded by telekinetic octopuses. Octopi. Octopi gopher. Oh, well, that's a new version of those things. Oh, a blood crawler. Oh, cool. Uh, the crawlers on for your four legs, just in more than what the crawlers for, so allowing it to move surprisingly speedy. Lower its entire body to bring its mandibles within. Yeah, the rest of me, this one's. Oh, they're jumping down at me. I hate that. A lot of uranium. I'm genuinely surprised at the lack of rubies over here. Like, I'm glad there was some, but I thought there would have been a lot more. Uh, we're not making out of that. May as well just head back. We got what we needed. We just needed a single ruby. I just wanted to find more in case we needed more aerogel for something, but whatever. Hopefully we make it back before we dive dehydration. Let's just hope if I perish, I perish in the base.
Oh, and now it just finds another one. Okay, music is now just disgustingly loud all of a sudden. Okay, cool. Okay, so we just need one of these bad boys. And then I just grab the copper wiring from here. Oh, it's not immediate. Oh, okay. Uh, gonna go shove more. Oh god. I need to. Ah. Uh. May not have filtered water quite yet, but at least I can shove a bunch of weird looking fruit down my gullet. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, you know I'm on this uh, new diet, I'm consistently eating five pounds of fruit instead of drinking water. You saw all the rage these days. Wish I could just make a staircase instead of a ladder. Um, okay, so what do we need? We need to start reinforcing the hole. Lithium titanium. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be a while then. Cause I still need what like twenty titanium for that, right? You have to make a single plasteel ingot. When if yeah, do I have any? I do. So then I just need to find a lithium. Oh. Luckily... Because we're looking for lithium, we actually get to use the prawn suit. So the, from what I remember, there should be a ton of lithium down there. Yeah. When you first unlock it, it's like uh, warding. People operating the prawn suit for the first time may or may not encounter... Uh, the feeling as they are like an invincible god or some shit like that and I thought that was hilarious because it's not wrong because I know for a fact if I really wanted to I could uh oh I need this too I could 100% take on a leviathan with this suit
Yeah, um, it's mainly used for mining. Uh, well, at least that's what I understand. You could give it like a torpedo arm, or uh, I think like a stasis arm for fighting. But honestly, all you really need is the grappling hook and the, the drill. Not what I was looking for, but I'll still take it. Love grappling hooks, they're so cool. Like, I know somewhere down here, like, somewhere in these caves, I explored once and I found a green teleporter that I could have activated. But I've never seen it again. I found it once and, like, that was it. Yeah, basically what I was just doing to him is what I can do to the Leviathans, but because the Leviathans are so large, I grapple onto, like, the side of their head and just hold the drill down, and it just... eventually it will kill them. Is there none except for that one single... oh, no. There we go. Am I really, like, stuck? There we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. If I can get the suit to move. What does it mean, emergency power only? There's like 80% of the battery left. Oh, the habitat. Yeah, we're gonna need to figure out a power system issue. Or, and the issue with the power system. I don't think solar panels are gonna cut it anymore. I might just jump straight to, like, nuclear. Might be overkill. Just a little bit.
I don't... I, actually, I know exactly why this hurt me, because I'm sitting here drilling, I'm like, Man, remember the last time I played, uh, like, Deep Rock Galactic with, like, Yuki and John? That was fun. I miss Deep Rock Galactic. I should play that more. I bought DLC for that game, and then I never touched it. I need to, like, actually hop on in for, like, a solo a little bit. So I can finally... Because, like, I still have quests that are from, like, when the game first came out. Or was, like, still in early access. And you cannot, like, get rid of them. Like, you just can't abandon them. I don't know if they were, like, still tutorial quests or some shit. But I need to clear those out. Because they take up, like, two of my, my quest slots. And I can't do anything else while I have them. I think I'm gonna uh, try to unlock the upgraded thrusters for this. These this, this, these thrusters are a little little weak sauce. I am having a lot of fun with this grappling hook. Ever since I played that one grappling hook, I mean, I like grappling hooks in general. But like, since that grappling hook game, I've been uh just playing a lot of like Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales, and I uh, I need to like play more. I say I play a lot, but I, like there was two days where I focused on it, and now it's like I um. Now that my Baldur's Gate 3 save is working again, I I got I got distracted. Did I just latch onto a fish? What did I? I did. I latched onto a, like a little peeper. <gasps> the cuttlefish hatched. Where's my seat? Okay. Hey, now that I'm here, I should probably look around. Cause like... I was wondering... There's the prawn suit. It goes outside. Is there like a... Crafting thing here? Oh. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't want torpedoes. Fabricator? There we go! Cyclops docking bay repair module. Uh, depths module. Plasteel and three ruby. Okay. Good thing we're making plasteel already. Oh. 
whole leg fell asleep for some reason. Alright, let's finish doing what we were doing, and then we'll then we'll wrap up street. He said like an hour after he said that the first time. I already have three, so I only need two for the, the room, and I need one for the thing, and I need three rubies. But hey, hey, hey. Where's our little friend? There he is. That is a weird looking dolphin. Cycle. What can be known? Code of Slice Cycle probably in our behavior. No? Uh, like, you should be able to pet it or something at some point. I'm not sure if it's not going to let me because it's in the thing. But, uh, okay, now that we've done that. Distracted again. Like, we have so much room for activities. The cool thing is, like, even though the base is on, like, even though my base is not, like, efficient at all, no matter how you build your base, it still looks cool underwater. Like, it just. If this was, like, a space base or something, I don't think I'd be as impressed as, as I am with it now. I thank you. Um, and like, I do want to, want to like put it in the ship, but honestly, um, let's see. here, one plasteel and three nickel, one plasteel and kyanite. These are two materials we've never even seen yet. So we're just gonna have to deal with the Mach 1 upgrade, which hopefully at least puts it down to like 900 meters. That's what at least the, the prawn suit can go to, which I still need to make the prawn suits upgrade for depth. All right, it's on the other side. Yeah, now it's 900 meters. All right. I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. So let's...
hop over to here. Playing our music. Let's see who's streaming right now. There's a lot of people streaming. Um, Justice is doing art. Ooh, Kirk. Kirk is streaming. Was that is that Lisa again? Yeah, Kirk is playing. Lisa, what is this game called? Lisa the Painful. Um, or hack. It's been a while. Oh, I have like three people I constantly raid. Um, play Jason. I can even Bogo. Ah, eh, screw it. We'll, we'll raid Kirk. I like Kirk. All right. So, uh, we, I might have an impromptu stream on sometime during the weekend with uh, Chuckleton. We need to talk about it more. Um, but yeah, yeah. Thanks for showing up, Yuki. Um, thanks for everyone who showed up. Thanks for everyone who stuck by after the raid. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. And uh, we'll pick up with some more Subnautica on Tuesday. By then, you, the, we might have the base changed a little bit. But uh, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>